The next question is There are two examination rooms A and B. If 10 students are sent from room A to room B, then the number of students in each room is the same. If 20 students are sent from room B to A, then the number of students in room A is double the number of students in room B. So the question is find the number of students in room A. The options given are option A is 20, option B is 80, option C is 100 and option D is 200. So the solution for this problem is from the given question let us assume the number of students in room A and room B B, X and Y respectively. So from condition 1 that is if 10 students are sent from room A to room B then the number of students in each room is the same. So the number of students are sent from A to B which is equal to the student in room A is equal to student in room B. Then we write the expression x minus 10 is equal to y plus 10. That is from room A the 10 students are sent which denotes x minus 10 and y plus 10 because they are receiving 10 students from room A. So y plus 10 comes here. So on solving this equation we get x minus y is equal to 20 which is considered as equation number 1. From the second condition, if 20 students are sent from room B to A, then the number of students in room A is double the number of students in room B, which is given by the expression x plus 20 is equal to 2 into y minus 20. That is, 20 candidates are sent from B to A, which implies student in room A is equal to 22 into student in room B. So on solving this equation, we get x minus 2y is equal to minus 60, which is considered as equation number 2. So now solving equation 1 and equation 2, we get y is equal to 80. So substituting the value of y is equal to 80 in equation number 1, we get x minus 80 is equal to 20. So solving this equation, we get x is equal to 80 plus 20 which is equal to 100. So the required answer is 100. So there are 100 students in room number A. Therefore the option C, 100 is the answer. The next problem is, the price of 10 chairs is equal to that of 4 tables. The price of 15 chairs and 2 tables together is rupees 4000. So the question is, find the total price of 12 chairs and 3 tables. So the options given are, option A is 3500, option B is 3750, option C is 3850, and option D is 3900. So the solution for this problem is, from the given question, let us assume the cost of one chair be x. Similarly, let the cost of one table be rupees y. Since from the given question, the price of 10 chairs is equal to that of 4 tables. Therefore, 10 chairs is equal to 4 tables which implies 10x is equal to 4y. On solving this, we get y is equal to 5x by 2. From the second condition, the price of 15 chairs and 2 tables together is rupees 4000. So the expression can be written as 15 chairs plus 2 tables is equal to 4000 which implies 15x plus 2y is equal to 4000. So substituting the value of y in equation number 1, we get 15x plus 2 into 5x by 2 is equal to 4000. 
On simplifying this equation, we get 15x plus 5x is equal to 4000. So on solving this equation, we get 20x is equal to 4000. Simplifying this, we get x is equal to 200. Therefore, the cost of one share is equal to 200. So substituting x is equal to 200 in this equation y is equal to 5x by 2 we get y is equal to 5 into 200 by 2. On simplifying this equation we get y is equal to 500. That is the cost of one table is equal to 500. Since the question is we need to find the total price of 12 chairs and 3 tables. Now. We found the answer for the cost of one chair and one table that is x is equal to 200 which is the cost of one chair and y is equal to 500 which is the cost of one table. So substituting the value in this equation 12x plus 3y we get 12 into 200 plus 3 into 500 which is equal to 2400 plus 1500 which implies 3900. Therefore, the total price of 12 chairs and 3 tables is 3,900 rupees. Therefore, the option D, 3,900 is the answer. Thank you.